Xbox Nerd. Real Xbox Nerd is a YouTuber with over 6,000 subscribers, known for making YouTube poops. Before then, he experimented with many of the things like I did. But if you want a better description, better and a longer description than this, you can watch the last video that I did linking with, of course, the Real Xbox Nerd. I discovered the real Xbox nerd two years ago, and after j watching just a couple of his videos, I knew I had to, t to subscribe, because as a poop, it, it, um, it didn't do the cliches like slowing the footage down. <laughs> Colouring the footage, change hit shifting. Might have been easy, might have been funny when it, it was first relevant, but I don't see what what um, humour comes out of it nowadays. His use of humour made him my favourite YouTube pooper, and at the time the only one other YouTube pooper I was subscribed to was someone named Seamus, who'd not uploaded for about five or six years. So, the real Xbox nerd had to take the cake. And my, my favourite reason was his use of humour. Meanwhile, the inspector was looking for his penis. The diesel seethed with fury as Duck and Stepney pushed him back to the shed. My God! exclaimed the inspector. You've sucked it! I've already mentioned how he didn't go with the easy, unfunny routes of, of filtering the footage. But also, the jokes he made are very relatable. And I enjoy the use of credits as well, fake credits. The way he uses football, film, and some other stuff to that degree was what drew me in. However, recently, I feel he's been taking a, a fall from grace, and I'm here to address... Before I get into my points, I just want to quickly touch upon the thing that probably most people might take issue with t the real xbox nerd and that's with the the overuse of gordon crushing into the station wall and how that's getting old and whilst i don't think it is has gotten old yet i do think the only problem with it at the moment is he's he's using it in scenarios that don't don't work really work at all. He rolled joints and often came off the rails. Now here we go. The the new intros. This out of my three major points is the least because it is it's a bit more personal. But I feel that the way he um, uses the um, new intros where he take a um, bit themes of songs from film or TV shows has got no longer works. But, um, hold on, it um, kind of took me out when he first did it and it was still the last episode. And often you find it's too not actually you often find it's too long quite a lot especially when you did that Game of Thrones one But also, when he, what he used to do was, was, was cool. Probably not, um, 
probably would call it brilliant, but when and you're personally looking at it, it is entertaining. Where he would have the um, Thomas intro, but instead he had different music and some new text that um, would put, would be like fake credits or some weird bit of message. Nowadays, we just don't get any of that. Point two. Less change is more effective. No spewing words and letters together. This is it. This is the huge reason why I feel the real Xbox nerd has, been, has gone tumbling down the mountain. I it started in Gordon Crash's dot 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 again. But in that and Percy's perverted performance. But they weren't that bad. And even then they were just moments. But when it came to about the evade of the horrid lows, that's when it kind of took its toll. Go over, check them slow, back the, uh, excuse me, we did that in the last scoop. Now what, what you, what you would used to do back in the days when it was great, was he'd, he would do this, he'd, when it came to the joke making, he chit at age less words to make the duck look much more funny. Hello duck. Going fucking. I take cocaine if I were you. Did it sound funny based on what it would be said? But also because it actually sounded as if these characters were saying these outrageous things. Here with the newer stuff, you're taking out a picture because you can hear all this, this um, stuff which you can't always hear being munjled all up together. What we need, suggested Toby, is to listen to the new Muse album, Simulation Theory. My favourite track is The Dark Side, said Percy. But, added Duck Blight, is my favourite song. Excuse me, said Thomas. We have a YouTube boot to make so be quiet and I'll get this show on the road. And often you're all taking out the picture because you can hear like other sound effects to it, which are like edited from other parts of Thomas the Tank Engine. And I feel that is the biggest reason why he's gone downhill. But not the, the only reason. There's still another one. Point three. When he references himself. This is another big point that's definitely been downgrading his videos over recent times. First we saw this in The Mystery of the YouTube Pooper, which is a pretty good video I'd have to say. However, I think it's at its worst in Duncan Gets Slam Dunked. Now, in something like The Big Big Bang Theory or Family Guy, this could work because they reference a lot of modern day stuff. And the series that there is with them sorts of TV shows, it may well have the word Xbox in. Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends, however, a TV show based on stories that happened in the 40s until about season 5. But even so, at no point would the word Xbox ever have been referenced. The real Xbox nerd, however, did recognise this and he decided to change it up. He could probably have still found the word X being used somewhere and the word box which is is there in the show I know he, but he decided to use his initials and it was executed so so poorly of trouble with G R X N and this is because this suffers in the problem that a Malai ass point had and where uh, you're stuffing in the dialogue and 
when the words PRXN is said, it, you can hear like bits of audio in the background, and it just takes you out the picture, like I've been saying. And when it did, it's come to actually very much having his glory moment in Duncan gets slam dunked. It was just used so badly because what, what should he should have done was actually have his own voice because he is the real Xbox nerd. Let's say this. And also to not have the TRXN bullshit that some have been hearing. It would have worked if he definitely used his own voice. Hello, Duncan. It's me, TRXN. Take me back! Take me back! Please! So you don't want to crash! Is that it? Next, I'm going to mention three videos that really made the real Xbox nerd to what he was. And these being Double Shitting Troubles, Old Blow Coach, and Duck Takes Part in Itchiophilia. Double Shitting Troubles did it hit form with the use of the minimal word changing dialogues and but honey audio add-ins but what really made this this episode very very good and like one that stood out was because as he actually made the fart joke funny once again now by the 2000s the fart art joke had got too uh, overused the sound effects sounded too fake and often it would come across as predictable but what I think definitely made the fart joke fun for me in this video was the visuals that came with it. Now, in the actual episode, the, um, that, that smoke you're seeing was really there, but, but all the real Xbox nerd had to do was add in the audio and it just changed to something else. I'm shitting again! <laughs> Entirely. I think what they were, uh, what um, David Mitt and Britt Oldcroft and so on were intending was to have the s smoke be grey, but it looked a very brownish colour, which when a fart is added, it was makes for a gut so much gut busting laughs. Old blow coach had a running theme in in the video lot like double shitting troubles did with the shitting troubles gag but what made this episode stand out out in particular was the use of extra audio that he added in for us mainly at, at the beginning when it had the sound effect what a boring view what a boring view morning sky what a boring view and then later, the use of the song Fire. Fire. I'll you to burn. Fire. I'll you to learn. Oh, oh yeah, was, was done very well. And then later on, on you had the, the sound effect. Do you think he's dead? Which was absolutely brilliant. Droid. Do you think he's dead? I think that video was the best example of inserting extra audio into a video and adding to the experience. Finally, Duck takes part in Itchiophilia, my favorite episode by the real Xbox nerd. For me, this is my personal favorite because not only was the funniest, but it was consistently funny. A lot, there was a lot of over-sexualized jokes. Soon they reach sex hill. Push hard, push hard, puffed Henry. We're doing it, we're doing it, replied Duck. Henry was pulling his penis harder than he realized. But I enjoyed them. 
very funny. Inserting also helped too. But for me, I I enjoyed this video from start to finish. Not that I didn't enjoy some of the other ones, but I thought this was on its top form. And then the credits did well L2. Call, such as calling Henry Henrik Mkhitaryan. So thanks for listening to the video. I know I, I've, I've had this idea for quite a bit of time, but I've not got around to doing it. But finally I did. And I think I had to get out a math message sooner or later. I still follow the Real Xbox Nerds YouTube channel as a subscriber. And I will st it'll still do to these days, thanks to the class videos he gave us. But, but what he's bringing out with the newer YouTube poops have just been, it's just, it's just been too much to it. And I will like to make this video before, before he completely goes off the rails. So it's good to get up onto doing more YouTube videos again. I've been having quite a, a busy amount of time on my hands and making you and coming up with different ideas for YouTube videos didn't always ha have the right amount of time for doing it and plenty of some videos even did it have to get removed from the such as the top top tens of 2018 and so on but I do like hearing what what people might want me to make YouTube vi videos. I am willing to take suggestions. So thanks for tuning into this video. Do feel free to make suggestions in the comments. I do take requests and I'll be hoping to get on the road in YouTube a bit more. S see you guys some other time. And also 